Hey, what's happening guys? What I got for you today is something pretty cool from our friends at icstation.com. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. It is an Arduino LCD keypad shield and it's IC station item number 3481. And in the spirit of full disclosure, this was provided to us free of charge by IC station for our consideration and review. So what we've got here is this nice keypad shield, fiberglass uh, PCB board, and on top here we have what is basically just a standard 16 by 2 LCD screen. But what makes it really nice is that we have these six tack switches here and you can see they're labeled select left up down right and reset and they've also gone ahead and broken out all these pins that we can use the only one we really can't use at this time is a zero because it is being used for um, the keypad switches and of course we're not going to be able to use the ones that we attach to the Arduino but we'll get to that so let's zoom in here and take a look at how this thing is constructed the soldering looks pretty good you can see we've got a slight angle on those two tack switches there and one slightly bent pin but all in all that's no big deal you know you got to expect something like that to happen when you're shipping products halfway around the world and this does look to be of really nice quality the reason I, I've been wanting one of these is that it allows you to have a display for your project and also has some keypad controls without having to breadboard everything out and with these breakout pins you are able to attach some other sensors here so you're not completely stuck basically all right let's take a look at this item on IC stations website Alrighty, here is the item on IC Stations page. It is the LCD Keypad Shield Blue Backlight LCD 1602 for Arduino. It is item number 3481 and it is $7.80 US dollars. So if we look down here and you get a nice picture of everything. You can see it says uh, LCD keypad shield is a provide Arduino extension to line 16 character LCD display board and key presses. And then it tells you down here which pins go to where. And also a nice picture of the front and the back. Attaching this to your Uno or Mega and that's the only two Arduinos that this will work with is the Uno and the Mega. Couldn't be any simpler. You're going to line up the side that has the potentiometer with your USB connector and then simply align your pins and snap it all together. There we go. So now that it's together, we still have access to our reset button under there. But they've also brought the reset up here, right there. So we can use it there as well. Let's take a look at putting some software in this and see how it works. Okay guys, here is a quick look 
at the setup of this board. If we look here, you can see where the pins are connected to. E goes to enable goes to D9. Uh, read select goes to D8. Then our digital write pins go to 7654 and read write is tied to brown. Down here you can see our pins, or our, our buttons rather, are all connected to analog input zero. And then over here, we have the breakout of the digital pins that are still available for us to use. D0, D1, D2, D3, D11, D12, and D13. So that's pretty good. Now here we have a separate interface if you want to attach a Bluetooth module to this. And the ICSP interface. Of course, our adjustment pot. And down here are the analog pins that are still available for us to use. So that's pretty nice and, you know, very low cost. No problems there. Let's take a look at the code. Now, like I said, this is um, an example code written by Mark Bramwell back in 2010. I did not write this but I will post a link to this page where you can get it. So it's using the standard liquid crystal library that you should have installed with your IDE, so nothing extra to add. And the pins again, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven. Define some buttons. Reads the button. And then it reads a value from the buttons. There must be a resistor or something in there that's giving us a different value for the different pins. And then it just displays it to the screen. So, pretty simple. All right, I've uploaded some example code I found online. Power it up here. And you see it says push the buttons, none. So no buttons are being pressed. If we press one, we get left, down, up, down, <laughs> right, and reset, which should reset that little clock that's ticking there. Okay. So we are getting some mistakes here. Our left is showing up as down and our select is showing up as left but like I said this was just some example code that I found online other than that she's looking pretty good so there you have it everything um, very nice and compact well put together other than the slight issue with the buttons which can be simply changed in programming it's nice that all the buttons are brought out to analog zero so you still have all your other analog pins and we're only losing what is this uh, four of the or six of the digital pins nothing too bad all of these pins are here for you the uh, in-system programming header is there nice potentiometer here to adjust the contrast you know things are looking uh pretty good there good value for you know eight dollars shipped to your door here in the u.s all right guys i hope you like this if you did thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up there is a link down below to icstations.com webpage where you can get one of these for yourself, and our friends there at icstation.com have also provided a discount code. Put that in your order and save yourself a few kopecks. That's it. I'm out.